intelligent meticulously. So why the surprise? Why terminate prematurely? And why fire tear gas? And now as we speak, we've had to rush a number of people to the hospital. They better pray that there are no casualties. And for now, you say you're waiting for the delegation which will come through from the president. What happens if nobody comes here? We will keep waiting. We have the energy to wait all day. We have to come and receive the petition. And our understanding is that they inform the police here that they will be sending reps to come receive the petition. So we will wait for them. Have you got any notification from the, the police as to the correspondence between themselves and the presidency? They only told us that when they, ter when they terminate us at the Christ the King Church, they will invite the president's representatives in the Jubilee House to come for the petition. So we are not abiding to them and we are waiting for them. We don't know who they are sending and I don't uh, talk to anybody in the Jubilee House. So we are waiting for them to come and receive the petition. Early days here, but do we know which hospital these persons have been taken to? The number or you? Yes, I have, I have, I have put a team on it and uh, after the demonstration, we'll be going to visit them. I suspect that the closest hospital will be 37. Uh, so uh, we are likely to be there. But I am only making an intelligent guess. If I just told them to rush them to the nearest hospital, when uh, we are done with the presentation of the petition, I will uh, promptly go to the uh, hospital. I'll follow up with the team and go and visit them. I hope that they are okay and nothing happens to them. Honorable, thank you very much. That's the that's the honorable Samuel Okujita. On assets, the pension scheme depends on these assets. Actuarial studies are warning us that in a few years' time we will not be able to pay pensions, and so we cannot at this stage be selling off assets that are profitable that are being run well. If we say that they are not profitable. The solution does not lie in selling it. We know that in hotel management, you can contract out the management and then give targets and then make sure that the managers, the new managers you have contracted, achieve those targets for you. So if the problem is that the hotels are not profitable, we should contract out management, not to sell it. So we are fighting to protect state assets, state assets, so that tomorrow our pensions can be paid. Thank you. For a food and agriculture, Brian Champo. Brian Champo, he gave things of uh, uh, hotels. So the hotel, the company, he named it Rock City. So Brian Champo will use Rock City by six eight hotels. What we need to say, we say no, we don't go green because Brian Champo self in companies have the round losses. Where the company, the hotels, then the, the state hotels, then they want to sell now are even more profitable than Brian Champo's in hotels. So, you know, it makes sense to us say Brian Champo, we know, in company, no get managerial, uh, better managerial skills. They will take state hotels, give them. Where the price of the, the valuation, where them do, uh, two of the hotels have to go for, I think three have to go for 160 million Ghana CD. But Brian Champo say he won't pay 60 million. So we say no, we no go great. We no be that one alone. We they won't establish some culture say government appointees or polit politically exposed people for no buy state property. It no good because it take like a uh, gamekeeper. We now it turn poacher. You understand? Yes. So now we they want we they want pre present petition to the president. Say so make you stop the sale. I make you use in executive power to stop the sale. So enough of the state capture. If you don't do our work, we'll if you don't do that, the bridge where we get there, we will know where we go cross them. Uh, what do you think about this endless investment? Everybody must come to an end. We have reached a stage where it should be Ghana versus what is wrong. Whether it's endless in power, everything is power. What is wrong just has to be wrong. The situation where people say because it's our party, we must defend our own or that must come to an end. As, as general secretary of the party, I don't want my party coming to power and people. Rally together to defend what is indispensable. It should be wrong. The people of Ghana need leadership of the right and that must be a right idea. All right, thank you. Yes, it's our ocean, Yes, protesters, you know, ever say, you know, 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 you know,
efia se a omo potese se omo ya omo adwen se omo ma kwan na omo bu eh barricade no after omo to the tear gas first tear gas e di share crowd no wa se ha but omo guso say they are trying yes okuje to abrakwa the leader of the demonstration is akasa achiru say after the tear gas no eh yes after the tear gas no ni ko fo ni bia na say protesters no if much me prepare be much me injured so they are trying to admit it into the hospital so by six o'clock on my update in kofu epra ne in kofu a omo atochima on this tear gas a police it will try it shall protect us no a omo a omo ye protest us no the government says okay demonstration we are such an essence demonstration is such an essence say okay and is the foreign chest okay eh eh mp4 i imagine so omo ton eh the government and i say a minor properties ni bi e dey am individuals ah omo ye members of parliament ni na akwakwa ye bride a champion ah o ye the ceo of rock city ha ono asesa ye agric minister but gana your constituency ni che say okay say obi e ye member of parliament and i say obi e ye obi e ye police obi ye oman eh oman penia oni ho kwan so otumi e to oman eja pade Ah, if you know, at the same time, I was saying the member of parliament, or you only the member of parliament, to say, or yeah, what, or say the member, or say the agric minister. So the agric minister no only who permit, so it me to that hotel sir, eh, eh, what, eh, Kratasu, how much is okay? Eh, Labadi Beach Resort, near Labadi Beach Hotel. Some of the hotel no. Omo pesa omo ton eni ma brother champo na even the price na brother champo pesa otono no omo chira and same fata and ye at the same time no eh omo chira swa omo chira the price no even brother champo na kasa pesi no omo chira the hotel so no eh o bankrupt ah ono no when you scare omo pesa otono o manager padi and so say if say ono brother champo no was kasa bitu ma shoma no so dia if so this is ono ne hotel and a pesi no omo chire I'm a beer who say, okay, this initiative from Omo, you know, it's not only some more year because of some year and this for, but Omo, yeah, I'm a beer who's okay. Even say, yeah, and this in our Abema, it's also who's okay. So we are member of parliament, and I say, we are leader, we know why, so better or manager, and you see, and only this demonstration says, so by so, see, guys, a question. Why a peaceful demonstration? It's a deal, pal, sir. Omo abambofo no, omo ama ya unko baby. I say say ya agree on to go, but we believe that we are going to deliver our petition to the government of the day. Today, today the NDC minority in parliament is leading this demonstration and says that hands off our hotels. And for you as a leading member of the PNC and a rights guy, what do you have to say? I know that you've made comment this with regards to this, but today, what do you have to say regarding this? Well, this is not a fight for the NDC minority. This is a fight for all encromites in this country. This is a fight for all progressive and socialists. This is a fight for people who seek a better future for not only themselves, but for the future of their children that the state of Ghana is responsible for creating opportunities for citizens of this nation, creating jobs and owning assets. That these assets that have been acquired several years ago will take President Akufado to gift them to a minister of agri, not a minister responsible for tourism or minister responsible for trade. Look, we are not talking about food production. We are talking about the hospitality industry. So when a minister for agri suddenly is gifted about six hotels that are owned by the public at a giveaway price. Then there should be cause for worry. Initially, they said that the hotels were not making profit. We proved to them that Labadi did, Lapan Royal and others were making profit. And therefore, if it was about profitability of these hotels, then those ones should not have been sold. So apparently, they are taking those assets that are profitable in order to cover the deficit that Brian Hotel, Rock City Hotel, is an, an, an encountering. And we don't think that the state must be sacrificed in that manner. No one has been opposed to Anissa Hotel and its ownership. No one has been opposed.
to Coconut Group Hotel and its ownership. But we are opposed to individuals of state buying state hotels that all of us, it belongs to all of us. If you want to go and build your own hotel as you did in Rock City, nobody is opposed to it. So from now onwards, citizens of Ghana are saying that we will not no longer countenance the sale of state assets on the flimsy accuse that there is management inefficiency. If there is management inefficiency, it doesn't call for disposal of the assets. It calls for the introduction of efficient management. What Brian Champon is doing is not a case of efficiency. Indeed, Rock City Hotel, as you can see from the records, is making losses. So how can a hotel that is making losses claim to be the hotel that will become the panacea to other hotels that are making losses? It doesn't sit well with us. Thank you. And they can't present them.